Good morning, Michigan. Chief Meteorologist Joel Fritzman here with a, another daily forecast video update here at Michigan Storm Chasers. We're going to go ahead and dive right into it by taking a look at your daily headlines across the state. First one there, finally, some moisture. You've noticed this week across the state of Michigan with a low pressure system moving in. We've had a lot of rain, and some places I've seen up to three and four inches of rain, especially in West Michigan, where we desperately need it. We're also still hanging out of summer out there. Temperatures in the 70s for the foreseeable future. That's going to be through at least the next seven days, primarily for the lower peninsula. If you're in the upper peninsula, obviously 60 degrees is kind of the story up there right now this time of the year, but still comfortable nonetheless. And you guys in the UP, comfortable with those conditions down here in the lower peninsula, we're comfortable with our conditions as well. Only cold spot, of course, being along the Keweenaw Peninsula. And not only do we have a weekend or a weekend of 70 degree temperatures, but also a weekend of sunshine down here. Clear weekend for most. Once that low pressure system moves off on Thursday, high pressure builds in behind it, and we do not really have many chances for clouds, especially Saturday and Sunday. If you guys missed the news on our Facebook page, National Weather Service and Gaylord went out and confirmed three tornadoes from our severe weather event on uh, Monday night. This was September 22nd. Uh, all these tornadoes occurred after 4.45 in the evening. We had number one here, this is an EFU, which is an EF undetermined. So that means this tornado didn't hit anything, uh, but it was seen on a video. And this happened on Long Lake Road near Lake Ann in Grand Traverse County. We also have the very picturesque water spout that turned into a tornado. You can see it down here in the corner. Uh, this was on pretty much Torch Lake for its entire lifetime. And then as it moved on shore, it produced about 0.2 miles of damage, primarily in the way of trees. Max wind speed there, 75 miles per hour. And lastly, over in Bel Air, about three miles, four miles down the road from that uh, Torch Lake tornado. Uh, this was an EF1 tornado that hit in downtown and moved through downtown off to the east side of town where it hit a park and a lake before dissipating. So that brings our tornado count here in 2025 up to 33 this year, which is six shy of our record set back in 1974. Daily conditions out there today. Looking pretty nice. As mentioned, 70s are the story. This is going to be all for the Lower Peninsula, of course. If you're up in the UP, mid-60s, 64 Iron River, 65 Escanaba, or in the Sault Ste. Marie, that could be your hot spot today in the Upper Peninsula, 68 there. Get south of the bridge. Temperatures all in the low 70s. you got 70 Arcadia, Traverse City, uh, over by uh, Prescott there, down towards Mount Pleasant. Then you move into southern Lower Peninsula, and you get temperatures near the mid-70s. But with showers and thunderstorms moving through today, it'll be harder to get hotter out there and as you can see the most common condition out there today is showers and pop-up storms this map we can just ignore no snowfall expected with temperatures being so hot out there this map we can't ignore though this is your pre precipitation between now and thursday morning so you can really kind of hone in on where this low pressure is kind of just going to be sitting and it's over here on the east side of the state all of this dark green here is values of one to two inches likely now, obviously not all locations are going to get one to two uh, rain is kind of fickle and where it falls. If you're anywhere in this kind of lighter green area, uh, this is anywhere about a half an inch or higher. So if you're in Lansing, down to Jackson, down to Adrian, over towards Flint and Pontiac, between about 0.5 an inch of rain expected there. And if you're over here along the US 127 corridor, 131, pretty much anywhere underneath a quarter of an inch, you've already had all your rain this week. And as the slow pressure system moves off to the east, so does our rain chances. Taking a look at our severe thunderstorm outlook for today, not really any chances for severe thunderstorms, unlike the last two days where we had a limited risk, which would be in blue, and that is a 1% to 5% chance of seeing severe weather. But again, this is just a general thunderstorm category for today. Any storms could produce some small hail and perhaps winds of maybe about 40 miles per hour, but again, that's below severe limits, and tornadoes are not really expected today. Anywhere you see the topography, thunderstorms, not really likely today, more in the more in the mode of rain showers. Sunrise and sunset information really quick. A lot of sevens out there, sunrise to sunset between 7.30 and about 7.45 right now. And pretty much everyone is seeing sunsets before eight o'clock now. Unfortunately, for your summer lovers out there, it just keeps getting darker out. Uh, but we'll be, we'll be back in another 180 days, so don't worry, just have to get through this winter. Uh, Moonrise and moonset, that's critical information right there. If you guys are trying to see the aurora lately, there's a lot of sunspots out there. Good news here is the moonrise and moonset is all during the day. And so at night, nice clear skies with a little less light pollution than, weather, than when the moon is up. And even if the moon is up right now, it is a waxing crescent. So it's very, very limited light. Taking a look at our future radar, I'll get, go ahead and let it loop through here and then restart. So we'll go ahead and restart. This is going to be 7 a.m., 
8 a.m., 9 a.m., 10 a.m., 11 a.m., noon, and then moving into the afternoon, you can see all that rain just kind of circling around that low pressure system as the low kind of just sits here, and then eventually it'll start moving off to the east by tomorrow morning. And as you can see up in the UP, a lot of the clouds actually starting to break up there, where partly cloudy skies are possible today. Taking a look at our forecast ahead, this is for the next two days across the state. All across the state on Thursday, again, a little bit of rain kind of hanging around, so temperatures widespread in the low 70s. Then you move into Friday down here, and that is very warm. That's going to be temperatures in the upper 70s possible for all across the southern lower peninsula. And we also have up here in the UP, besides a little bit of wind off Lake Superior, temperatures in the low 70s, maybe high 60s at most, so kind of similar to what we're seeing today. So we have a little bit of a dip tomorrow, and then as we get into Friday, that roller coaster starts to head back up as we shoot into Friday, and then eventually for our sunny skies Saturday and Sunday, temperatures perhaps getting near 80 out there once again. And to wrap it up today, our sponsor of this daily forecast video is American Arbor. Based out of Southwest Michigan, for all of your tree care needs, that number on your screen is 269-244-8524. With that being said, that is all for your daily forecast video today. I am Chief Meryl Joel Fritzma. Thank you for watching, and we'll catch you next time for another daily forecast video.